Hi guys, today I'm back on the west coast and we'll be fishing sea trout. I actually hesitated to go for sea trout fishing for a while because it has been blowing from the north and from the east for around four weeks. Today it's still blowing from the east, so it might be completely dead, but it's already middle of September and the sea trout fishing season is over on the 1st of October, so it's not so much time left. Except the wind, the weather conditions today are pretty nice. It's rather cloudy, we have moderate wind, it's high tide right now. The water cooled down a little bit compared to summer, so I really hope that there will be some sea trout biting today. I've started to fish with 23 grams lure, but it grabs quite a lot of seaweed. We'll change to a lighter lure, 16 grams, so that it can go not so deep and grab less seaweed. So now in the autumn there is a lot of seaweed, that's why I decided to fish with a single lure without a teaser fly in front. From time to time I get some seaweed, but usually when a lot of seaweed get hooked I change to a single hook. Right now it works with the treble and the reason why I keep the treble hook is to increase the chances to hook the fish. Fish on! That's a sea trout. That's not a huge sea trout, but it's really nice to catch at least some. Nice healthy sea trout between 30 and 35 centimeters long. And here it goes. Well, it was well deserved sea trout after one hour of fishing. It feels like there was a bite, but it might be a seaweed. Time to change the spot. The technique that I use to fish sea trout is quite simple. Five, seven reels and a spin stop. Then again, some reels and a spin stop. And it's quite important to find an optimum reeling speed for the best action of the lure. Last cast on this spot and I will move to a little bit shallower water. It was really nice to be on the coastline and to fish sea trout again. Great that I managed to catch some fish today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.